Roblox events are coming back. A new Roblox scam, and I, I know, another one. And Roblox's account was hacked? I don't even know, okay? S some crazy stuff just happened. But first, I need to thank my subscribe subscribers because you guys are uh, epic. And if you're not subscribed, you're not epic. And now let's get into the freaking news, okay? For, dude, that was like the fastest intro I've done in my life. Now I'm gonna extend it by just talking. Kidding. Let's get into the freaking news. That is the first one, which is a very small one that I just wanted to talk about because, uh, yeah, it, it relates to Fortnite. If you guys don't know my last video, Fortnite killed Roblox, apparently. Dude, I don't know why, but every single thing I tweeted about Fortnite on Twitter was met with so much, like, there was actually so many, like, Fortnite defenders, bro. I didn't know Fortnite had this many fans. Even my video about it had so many comments from people saying, saying stuff like, Fortnite didn't copy Roblox. Come on, dude. Fortnite's actually better. Blah, blah, blah. And I was just surprised, bro. I didn't know that many people cared about Fortnite. I thought Fortnite was kind of dead a little bit. I mean, it's still one of the biggest games in the world, but I thought it was a little bit dead. But, uh, you know, it wasn't, apparently. And, uh, with all that in mind, a lot of people have already started making games on the Fortnite platform. For example, Hazem. So, if you guys don't know, the owner of Please Donate Hazem actually has, uh, been trolling and, uh, and actually, like, messing around with the new Fortnite thing. Now, granted, I don't think Please Donate's ever gonna be actually ported to Fortnite because they don't have a donation system. Like, that's impossible to do. But, at the end of the day, Hazem was able to import the map of please donate into fortnite and that's a, that's at least step one you know so here's the image of the fortnite the fortnite and please donate map which is pretty cool i saw a video as well of someone just building uh in fortnite like around the the please donate map which is kind of funny i guess i don't know but like also this looks like crap if we're gonna keep it a, a 100 right now, everything, every single thing I've seen from this Fortnite creative thing has looked like trash. It's either made by GameFam or another major company, or it's just, I don't know. It's just knockoff Roblox. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a lot of faith in Fortnite Creative 2.0, but you know, uh, I guess we have to wait a little while for some stuff to be made, you know? But yeah, I don't know. I guess we gotta wait. So anyways, let's move on to the next story because that one is a little bit mid. And let's talk about something that's a little bit less mid. Well, actually, no, this one's pretty mid as well. So uh, if you guys don't know, a little while ago, I actually was talking about Game Fam and how they were making two major games on Roblox, one for SpongeBob and one for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, we, I don't think we've gotten any updates on the SpongeBob one other than like a picture. But recently, we got an update on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, uh, as you can see here. First, look at the Roblox Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, experience being developed by GameFam. And yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I don't- I don't mind it. It doesn't look that bad. You know, it looks pretty cool. All the comments are obviously negative, you know, because I, I'm, I'm a game fam hater, but like this doesn't look that bad, guys. I think you guys are overreacting. But yeah, as you can see, uh, all the comments are just disappointed. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, I, I mean, that's what I kind of expected, but uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I don't think this looks that bad. And I'm like game fam's number one hater. I hate game fam. That's a strong word, but I do mean it. But yeah, um, so that's just a small update. Um, and I'm excited to see what the game is. Hopefully it's not just a stupid simulator. It's called Mutant Mayhem, which maybe that means it's a fighting game or something. It's what it sounds like to me. And either way, I'm excited. Hopefully it's coo cool. But anyway, let's move on to the next story, which is uh, in the light of the Fortnite thing, uh, Roblox actually had like this big meetup for, I think, developers or something. It's called GDC 23 or 2023, I guess. I don't know what GDC means. Tell me in the comments. But basically they just talk about like future updates updates to Fortnite, or not Fortnite, to Roblox. This is, I'm getting a mixed up, bro. They're the exact same game at this point. But yeah, they just talk about like updating, uh, like updating Roblox and stuff like that. And you know, how to make it cooler, I guess. And uh, there's been one major update that's came out of this that I'm gonna talk about later, but for the most part, it was just kind of mid. So yeah, here's like a little thread, 67 active million users, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you're used to waiting weeks or days for approvals, whatever. So yeah, they just kind of like gas up their own company. They're like, yeah, we're actually really cool, unlike Fortnite. But on top of this, they actually had alcohol at the, at the, uh, at the, uh, at the place. And the ice was in the shape of the Roblox logo. See, that's the real news that we all care about here. The ice was Roblox shape. But yeah, that's what's going on with uh, that. But uh, in light of this, which was in light of the Fortnite, uh, actually, this wasn't because of Fortnite, by the way. I was just joking. But it really does kind of seem like it was because, uh, yeah. Something that came out of this was actually events. So Roblox actually tweeted this out during the thingy saying, Roblox dev update. We're excited to expand our rollout of the events platform, a place for developers to easily create, schedule, and promote special events to fans of their experiences. Learn more. Now, we actually had this like uh, teased for a while, but 
but it's being rolled out to uh, everybody now, right now. Now, this is another question I have is like, what devs get access to this? Because like, can anyone do this? Because if anyone can do this, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of scams and stuff going on with this. But you know, I digress. I think you probably have to be in like cahoots a little bit with Roblox. Maybe not. I don't know. But also, I don't really think this is like events events because there's no like items. Like you don't get uh, items for this. At least you do get like little push notifications on mobile and stuff. And it's, it seems like it's going to be, yeah, pretty visible. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But it's not like actual events, which still kind of sucks. They still did remove real events, which yeah, if we go back to the, to the actual website, um, there's no events tab guys. Thank you, Roblox. You guys are great. But you know, that's not where it ends because we have even more news such as a new Roblox scam that is quite interesting. So I, I keep seeing this guy's videos called no text to speech uh, on YouTube. He's a discord YouTuber. I've talked about him a couple times before because he talks about Roblox scams and dude, he uncovered one like a couple hours ago that I want to talk about. You guys got to go watch his video if you want more information because I'm stupid and I'm not going to explain it well. But from what I understand, he searched up like how to get, I don't know, Roblox voice chat or something like that. Like, just like a general tutorial thing a lot of these tutorials will actually just be scams like and they will have thousands of subscribers thousands of views and they will actually just be like scams they'll link to a website that like uh that tells you to like let the website access your copy and paste like things so it can see your clipboard so it can see what you copied without you pasting it and then basically they tell you that you have to like copy your roblox security key which is obviously a red flag but i mean a lot of people are falling for it and it's crazy because this is apparently a huge problem problem like if you search up anything on roblox like how to get robux voice chat you're bound to find like at least one of these and the craziest part is that they all link to the same website which is just kind of nuts man so yeah i don't know i don't know what's going on but yeah i mean just scrolling through his video you can see a bunch of stuff he, he talks about how the scam works exactly and uh yeah there's one that's like ooh, one of the scams is how to steal roblox games which uh by the way you just literally can't do unless you have exploits or or the game is uncopy locked and even with exploits you can't steal the game you can only steal the model in the game and i think the local scripts so yeah don't believe any of these tutorials man like they're literally i mean smart on the hackers but also like uh, bro this is crazy yeah and then basically he scams himself he gets all of his stuff stolen which is pretty freaking epic and yeah this video is just really crazy it's such an interesting little scam that uh, i think you need to go check out but else we wanted the last story or maybe the last i don't even know yes it is and it's roblox so if you guys don't know a little while ago i talked about roblox uploading random items to their profile and people thought they were hacked okay that's a little lowdown, but it got more uh, interesting because if we look at Roblox now, what is this? They changed. Why did they look like that? So yeah, after like Roblox's whole meeting thing yesterday, they randomly just like took off all their clothes. So yeah, if you actually look at their profile, they literally have two things on, and it's a it's it's two hats. They're not hats. These are the the moving faces. Granted, a lot of people are rejoice rejoicing because um this is not it's not arthro so i mean a lot of people are happy with that but what is this character bro why he look like that why he look like that? stop looking at me but yeah so uh i guess he was hacked guys he was hacked and his profile was changed also the typical thing happened where it says he went online and then it instantly went back to like last online six years ago or whatever for some reason whenever the roblox profile goes online they reset it when it was last online like six it's weird i don't know how to explain it but yeah roblox has a new character guys tell me in the comments i just said why does roblox look like this I I was gonna put a swear word in the tweet, but I thought that was probably bad for for the brain. You know, if I'm trying to get in the star program, I gotta I gotta be careful. But you know, Albert wasn't scared. You know, he literally just said the swear word. So I mean, whatever. So yeah, that's what's going on with Roblox changing their avatar. A lot of people have some negative opinions on it. I i'm indifferent man i don't know why like why would they even change it are they gonna change it back like was this an accident i don't know also they uploaded apparently these two hats called bow and row and when i click on them it just takes me to the catalog it doesn't actually take me to the hat hold on interesting roblox uh very interesting maybe they are hacked who knows 